I'm David Francis on drums. Bringing Black and Ritual to your ears, that's what we intend to do. <laughs> Check it out. Totally. How's your festival? Yeah. Yeah, enjoying it, beast. So you guys had your set yesterday? Yep. Yeah, I played at uh, half past six. No, sorry, six o'clock, sorry, on the new Bud stage, yeah. So. How, are you, how are you feeling it went? How did you feel about it? I enjoyed myself. How did you find it, man? I fucking loved it. It was superb. It was good to be able to set up properly, have a bit of time to relax, felt really comfortable on the stage. Absolutely awesome. I just hope we can get some momentum from this and just get some contacts, you know, try and get some bigger gigs, you know, hopefully come back here and play next year, you know? Yeah, like, definitely. It's nice, nice to the play a stage year. that's so big that you're yeah. not getting jabbed in the shoulder with guitars and stuff. It's quite so everybody was really helpful and stuff as well, you know, like the, the back guys, again, all the tech staff and that, spot on. So yeah. couldn't ask for a better time, you know, we clashed with Overkill, which is a bit of a shame. That was one band I really wanted to check out, because, Ken, but at the same time, it's quite surreal to say that, you know, that you've, uh, you know, you're playing at the same time as Overkill. That's, uh, it's fucking awesome, but it's shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was awesome, you know, so really enjoyed it, so. Yeah. Regardless of your crowd, uh, yeah, aye, yeah, totally. It was pretty busy, and it seemed to react well to your set, so... Yeah, totally. Yeah. I was like in the mosh pit down the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you guys looked like you were loving it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, don't see much, I just headbang. <laughs> that's pretty much it, you know what I mean? Lights in the eye, headbang. Yeah. Again. But no, nah, that's it, you know, just stay focused. We always try to play a tight set, you know, didn't, he, didn't he get out and, you know, get drinking beforehand and stuff. Like, play your set professionally and do the business and then party afterwards, you know, so... It, but it's awesome. A few good bands want to check out today. Death, come on, can't wait for that. It's going to be, I know you're looking forward to that, 100%. But, uh, yeah, so. so where, did the, where did the name Black and Ritual come from? Uh, I'll take this one. The name came from myself, actually. I was just driving to work, uh, going to Enoch Do in Scotland to fit a bathroom. And uh, I just driving in the van, eh, and just thought black and rich away and I just text Andy and he seemed to like it and every, everybody just liked it and it just kind of stuck from there so it was uh, yeah that was it you know just sometimes it's really hard to think of a name but sometimes you just need to be like that's the name you know what I mean now it's kind of branded with you know what I mean so it's is it's what it is and it's I like it <laughs> don't want to change it cool so. and it seems to have sort of morphed into what you guys are now it's fitting in with yeah, exactly. That sort of high energy, fast. I mean, I always feel we're at the live show. That's where that's where Black and Ritual's at. If you want to come down, check out a show. You won't be disappointed. You know, it's fast, high paced, high paced tempo in that start to finish. You know, Tom's got an awesome presence. He smiles like a total champion, and it's just a big party. Eh? And that's what you need to do. Okay? And a group of friends just making music, having fun time. You know, but to have your first show down south playing Bloodstock, that's uh, it's quite surreal. You know. It's a good achievement. To have. Yeah, totally chuffed. So. As I said earlier, just keep the momentum going, you know. You guys were out where, without a vocalist for a while, without yeah. one man for a while. Ages, we were like pretty much four to five years without a vocalist, you know, and it's hard coming from a wee town to try and find that person to finish it off. It's, it's like trying to find the balance between a sound dude and somebody that can actually do the job, you know. Uh, so yeah, to find Tom was like a total, yeah, it was a god godsend in a sense, eh? you know, it was just superb. Fitted in straight away, he didn't even sing really, you know what I mean? It was just uh, just his mannerism, eh? just like instantly took the whole band, gave everybody a lift in that, and uh, yeah, he nails the vocals like st straight up, you know what I mean? We just recorded our first release as well, full self titled album, you know, eight songs of like tasty goodness, and uh, meaty riffs, meaty riffs, that's it, six o'clock, it's tea time, time for meaty riffs, <laughs> but uh, yeah, to find them, you know, to for him to have like the presence he's got on stage and stuff, it's uh, it just gives me a lift behind the drums, eh? You know what I mean? It's like I found my my new friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, thanks, man. I said, man. I said Tom you. Simpson is a good guy. <laughs> yeah, like his Facebook page. <laughs> you guys definitely seem to um, be more complete, definitely, since we've got the full lineup now. Yeah. Definitely, it's good. Uh, it feels, you know, we've been a full band for about two years now, and to, to come and to be getting to this level, you know, so early on as well, it's good. You know, we just want to, you know, spend this year gigging uh, the album we just released, and then we've got other material kicking about. I mean, like Andy and Shatila have got riffs coming out their head, like, you know what I mean? They're like talented, talented boys, you know, and uh, sensible as well, which, which you need, you know, like Tom doesn't smoke and stuff, that's awesome, that's what you need from a singer, you know what I mean? Like people always say after the show, Ken, your singer, your singer's got a set of lungs, eh? You're like, eat a pineapple, play like a champ. <laughs> That's it. 
But uh, yeah, so hopefully just keep the momentum going uh, and then next year again write our second album. And then, uh, yeah, that's it, you know, just keep the momentum going. Hopefully, when I'm like 35, I've got like four or five albums sitting there playing some good shows, you know. Yeah. That's it. This is my life, this is what I want to do. So, right, right. so have you got any, any big shows, any exciting shows coming up anytime soon? Fairly booked up until November, I think. Yeah, November's pretty golden, and then we actually just got uh, offered a wee tour in Russia as well, eh? But that's obviously still at the early stages, so they're still need to iron out quite a few details for that. But uh, yeah, there's a tour going in October and November, so we're pretty much just in contact, sorting out the fine details, and hopefully take your music to Russia, which would be like badass. <laughs> you know, I want to take my music to the world. You know, I feel like Black and Ritual's got a place. Like, you know, I do. Like, did you enjoy the set last night? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. You're becoming the interviewer now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to talk, eh, as you'll probably tell. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, man. <laughs> so your new release, Black and Ritual. Yeah. What's been the response so far? People that have received it. It's been pretty good so far, I think. Yeah. It's had a lot of positive reviews. Very, very nice words. So yeah. Can't really, can't really complain. You know, I think people like it, which is, which is good. You know, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Being Scottish, like it's always a bit funny getting compliments. You're like, because I think it's as a kind of culture, we're like, oh, I like that guy, you're like liking me, sort of thing. You know, <laughs> it's weird, but yeah, it's, it's good. And what was the recording process like? Was it was it pretty straightforward, pretty simple? Graham Young, champion, yeah. Chamber Studios, Edinburgh. Go yeah. there, do it. it. Like an absolute delight. Yeah. Honest. Cheers to Luke for uh, <laughs> dog tired for putting us uh, in contact. Eh? Is uh, th uh, they recorded Titan there? You know their, their second release, and, uh, so yeah, that was superb. You know, really great experience, nice and easy, nice and relaxed. You know, we we recorded it live, you know, which is quite uncommon, but it kind of gives you a nice raw feeling of the songs. But it's like really well recorded. I feel like Graham's captured it superbly, and I feel it's good listening. You know, like I, I love it. You know, like, hopefully other people feel the same. Just straight up metal. You know? It feels live as well on a CD. Like, you hear a lot of bands who get their CD and it doesn't maybe capture the kind of like energy sort of thing, but I think I was I'm not saying it's hundred percent, but I think it's a reasonable job, you know, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, there definitely seems to be a sort of um, a pulling away from so much of the polished, really refined recording, yeah. going more back to the sort of raw analogue sort of live sort of style of recording yeah, you get a bit more feel, you know. It's it's like you're a, a true representation as well of you, like when you play a live show. You know what you hear in the CD is what you're going to get at a live show, you know. And I think that's important, you know. Yeah. Don't want to be like Dragon Force and that, you know what I mean? Again. <laughs> no offense, guys. I do apologise. <laughs> I'm sure you are sound guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's been an awesome festival. Really enjoying it. So just looking forward to seeing the remainder of the band, Rob Zombie, Black Label. You know, hopefully just uh, hand out press kits and that, get a bit more notice. So. Thank you very much to the fans that know us now because without you we would not be here. Hell yeah. So you got Cheers us to here, all so you guys. Thank you very, very much. Uh, fans who are hopefully to come and hear us do exactly that. Come and hear us. <laughs> you know, like, come, come and then we'll say thank you to you too later on. <laughs> That's it, head bang with you in some pits. That's what we'll do. But no, nah, honestly, I just want to thank all the fans that have helped out. Uh, Ken, even family and stuff that's helped out over the years as well. It's been great. Just uh, yeah. let's keep the momentum going, spread the word of Black and Ritual, and hopefully be back playing some uh, some bigger stuff in the future. So keep your ears peeled for Black and Ritual. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you. Take care.